Ready, set, cook. Brought to you by HAP, a recipe for wellness. Time for Ready, Set, Cook. We are putting a healthy spin on our Italian staple, Chef Christy Zabrowski from HAP, and junior chef Tristan are here this morning to make some spaghetti squash. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so Christy, I want to start with you. How can you make spaghetti healthy? Why are you not, I don't see any noodles or pasta here. No. We're swapping out the white pasta that doesn't have a whole lot of nutritional value with some spaghetti squash spaghetti. So when you cut open a spaghetti squash, this is what it looks like inside. Yeah. The fun part is you get to scrape out some of this stuff kind of like you do cleaning out a pumpkin. Okay. And then we'll just take that and put it cut side down in a dish and bake it in the oven. Okay. After you bake it. This is where it turns into spaghetti. Okay, so Tristan, if you can grab your fork for me, all you have to do is take your fork and look at it. Just you just kind of pull it apart just like that, and you get these little strands that look like spaghetti, and that's why it's called spaghetti squash. Wow. All right, and Tristan, how old are you? Seven. And what do you, why do you like to eat healthy? Because I think I look nice when I eat healthy. Yeah, it's healthier for your body, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And what's your favorite food? Waffles. Waffles. Who doesn't love waffles? Okay, so now after you guys have kind of shredded it apart, mm -hmm. you put it in, it looks like a little baking dish. Yeah, so now from here, you can jazz up your spaghetti just how you normally would by taking some spaghetti sauce okay. and putting it in the pan. And any type of spaghetti sauce is okay? Is yeah. some healthier than others? You, or? Know, you look for one with minimal ingredients. Okay. And then from here, if you wanted to add in some spinach. Tristan, you like spinach, You like don't spinach? You? Yes. Good for you. You can add in a handful of the spinach okay. to the sauce. Okay, add in some spinach. Yeah. And mix it all together. And then last but not least, you'll take a spoonful okay. of the cooked spaghetti squash. So you, do you in. double cook this because you cook it there but that's just... So now you're basically just heating up the sauce oh, okay. and then heating up the spaghetti squash if it's not warm and just out of the oven. But just like that you have your final product, a nice bowl of spaghetti squash spaghetti and you can go back for seconds because you're just eating more vegetables, right? You don't have to be worried about eating too many noodles. And what if someone doesn't like the taste of squash though? Okay, so you just put extra sauce on it? <laughs> extra <laughs> sauce, it? jazz yeah. it up with lots of garlic yeah. or you can use zucchini noodles. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then That's how do you kind of do, can you buy those or do you have to kind of make you that yourself make too? make them with the device where the spiralizer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what are some things that HAP's doing with American Pediatrics? So, as we said, this is a great dish to get some vegetables in. So the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that we have five servings of fruits and vegetables every single day. So this helps us with the five. Wow. Um, and then they have a thing called 5210. So five servings of fruits and vegetables, two hours of screen time or less oh, every day. It's hard to do sometimes. Yeah. And then one hour of physical activity and zero added sugar beverages. So this falls within that guideline. Well, this looks extremely healthy. Thank you for being our junior chef this morning, Tristan. And Christy, thank you so much for coming in this. It's a pleasure. Thank you. All right, we'll put more information in this recipe on our website, which is fox2detroit.com. Back over to you.